Hey, welcome back to my channel. Um, we already kind of went through this in a previous video of how to how to identify the motor that might be having a bearing issue. Okay, so I already have a video on that. And this motor has a bearing issue. Okay, so there's two bearings. There's an upper and a lower bearing in the motor. So we need to identify either the top or bottom or not sure which. And on the casing here, I can see there's a pretty good, you know, hit to the to the bell that might have caused it. Um, not sure exactly what caused it because these are used motors that I got. And I'm going to pull both bearings out of this motor and replace them. So the first thing we're going to do is just, I'm going to spool this up real quick for you so that you can hear it in case you're not interested in looking at another video. So basically we have our props off, okay? We're going to plug in the beta flight. Connect up here and go in the motors tab. We're going to say yes, we have our props off. All right, we're connected to beta flight. We're in the motors tab. I'm going to plug in our plug in our ESC and then we're just going to we're going to pull up motor 1, sounding good. Motor 2. Motor 3. Motor 4. So you can obviously hear that. Pull up motor 1, sounding good. Motor 2. Motor three, motor four. So. All right, and that bearing is shot. So we're done in beta flight. We're going to disconnect. All right, go ahead and disconnect here. Unplug here. Now remember if you have if you have that plugged in for very long you want to have a fan on it. Okay, so we have our donor motor. Okay. I didn't buy new bearings. I'm pulling these out of this is a GEP RC1206 uh 4500 kV motor that I smoked one of the uh traces on uh, uh windings on. So I'm gonna pull this donor donor motor. Now what I've done is I've put I put my uh, prop screws, okay? So basically the screws I use to put the props on the, the bell, I put those in the bottom here because now it gives me full access to that bottom bearing, okay? So I set that on my bench and then I take a very small flat blade screwdriver and I put that down into the hole and I catch just the edge of that bearing. I use a very small hammer to tap that out. So I go... I go at an angle that way, and then I go at an angle that way, and that way, and just twice, really just two good taps on it, the, the bearing falls out. Okay, so that's the bottom bearing. And then I just take that bearing, and I can put my chopstick on it, and I can spin, I can spin that bearing, and I can feel that that bearing, it's good. Okay, you don't feel any notching or or anything and I this is my old motor so I know that these bearings are good in that motor so now we're going to take the the other one out okay now this one remember the the bottom bearing comes out that direction that top bearing comes out that direction okay you can't just beat them both down because that's not how it works so on the other side I have a punch here with a real smooth flat flat edge okay and then I'm just going to stick that up inside that housing and, and it's meeting on that bearing. Okay, let me zoom in here a little bit. And then I'm just going to push, I'm going to push down. I'm holding onto the base here with those screws. I'm just going to push that out. See how that, see how that bearing just pops right out of there? And we know, and we know we didn't damage that. Okay, 
So now if I ever want to, I could throw some new bearings in that and rewind this, but I'm, I'm probably never going to do that because I just buy a new one. But that, that get bar, this was totally my fault. I love these get bar C motors. The get, get bar C 1206 motors. And I, I really, with these props, these Avan uh, props, these are excellent motors. I have a, I have an extra one here, but that's 1206. 4500 KV4S. I bought these uh, iFlight Nano. They're the same spec, 1206 4500 KV motors, and they I do not like them. Just don't. I got four brand new ones. I'm going to sell them. I just don't like them. Gep RC 1206 4500 motors are great. I've had no issues with them for years. So, anyway, enough about that. All right, so we have our donor motor, it's done. So we can take our prop screws out and, and put them off to the side. So now we have two new bearings that we can put into this uh, motor, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take the four screws out and I'm gonna pull this motor off to the side, okay? So I'll be right back. All right, so we got our motor to loose. We're gonna get that little E-clip off of there as gingerly as we can so we don't fling it who knows where. Okay, take that off there. And then there's, if you can see here, there's two thin little washers so you got your clip and then two little thin washers and then you can pull this bell off the magnets are pretty strong on that actually really strong these these magnets are something else and then right in here we have another if you can see that another little bushing so that's the top bushing the bottom bushings So now we have our motor. So I'm going to take these four screws, put them in here, and I just going to I just want to thread them all the way until I see the top of there. Okay. There's a little bit of Loctite in here. So I'm just going to thread them until we see the very top of it. Just real quick here, I, I want to show you something just so. Just it's an old trick if you know it by all means but if not if you put that metal screw into that aluminum housing and you just start cranking away you can cross thread that pretty quick so if you turn counterclockwise you hear that little snap let me pull this up here turn it counterclockwise you hear that now you know you've just seated that and you can you can see it and you can see it and feel it that first thread will and you'll never strip one of these out if you do that just turn it counterclockwise until you feel the thread seat and like i said i'm i'm only i'm only threading these up until i can uh okay i'm only going to thread them up until they're at the top just flush with the edge of that base okay so I'm gonna put that on the bench I'm gonna grab my little this is the smallest flat blade I can find that can go between that and you're just gonna feel feel on there you're kind of getting between those two bearings okay just feel until you can get the edge of your screwdriver to catch the edge of that bearing Once you caught the edge of that bearing, you take your little hammer and just pop that, pop that bearing out. Okay, you see it's come out. So that's that's one. Now we don't know if that one's bad or not. I'm just gonna set him aside. I don't want to put him next to my new ones or my donor ones. So now we just take our punch up through here, and we're just gonna we're gonna hold on to that base with those screws. We don't want to hold on and push. We don't want to set those windings down on the table. Just 
take that and I'm gonna push that up in there. Okay, we just unseated that bearing. It's, re it's ready to come out. Okay. That's that's uh, the other one. So those two bearings there are suspicious. We don't know if they're bad or not, but we can grab one of them. Put our chopsticks. I like using chopsticks because it'll it'll hold the edge of that bearing. And you can twist that inner trace while you hold on to the outer trace, and you can feel if oh yeah, that is terrible. That thing you can just feel it. Can you hear it? I mean it. The ball bearings in that, I mean, that's absolutely shot. You can just feel it in, in these two fingers and in the rod. So if you hold your rod, the further out you hold your rod, the more vibration and crap you can feel in it. I mean, it's terrible. Okay, so that bearing shot. So I'm going to throw him in the trash. But this bearing, we could possibly use some other day. So I'm going to set him aside. Now... You have to do it in opposite order, so we got to put that the top bearing in first, and we're going to get it seated. Now you want to get that seated nice and nice and straight, okay? So what I'm going to do is just use a bigger hex driver, and I'm just going to I'm just going to tap him in squarely as I can, okay? That was it. He, he bottomed out, okay? Now we can do that to the other one. Come back here, you. Drop him in there. Just going to get him as square as we can. I'm kind of looking here and see how I'm... I keep having to look away and get my camera so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, so now he's in. So now we have that that top that top bushing here. So we'll drop him back in. Okay. And we're gonna get our bell. And, and look at your bell real quick and just kind of shine it around and make sure there's no chunks of metal or or weird stuff inside there or a cracked magnet. You know that that might have wiped out your bearing. Just kind of that bell still he's balanced. Alright, so we got our little washer in there. Our little bushing. I'm just gonna stab that, and I'm just gonna close this up. I like to I like to put the skin of my fingers here, so when that bell goes in, it doesn't slap down real hard. Just kind of lower it down on there. Oh, that feels better. All right, and then we have our thinner washer. Okay, this one's thinner. Good golly. Drop him on there, and there's a little bit thicker washer, okay? Got to make sure you don't lose them. And we got our little clip. Okay. Just going to go ahead and pop this on. So now we just want to grab here and the bell and just go back and forth because if that if that ends up you know popping off there while you're messing with it then you know you don't want to go fly it that way so just kind of give it a good tug and make sure that that's all seated correctly if you I don't know if you've seen me using these to kind of push that off of there you want to make sure that you don't ruin that clip or or make it too wide because then this this will just pop apart next time you go to do it so I'm going to take my prop. These, these screws are for my props. I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. I'm going to go ahead and mount this back to the frame. And we're going to, we're going to jump into beta flight and check it. Hey, just make sure. I just want to jump back in here real quick. Make sure that you're putting the right screws back in. Okay, I know that sometimes you get thinking about other things. 
but I used my prop screws, not my motor mount screws, to do what we did. So I need to make sure I get my prop screw. Look how much longer that is. You'll end up sticking threads up into your motor winding if you put too long a screw in. So make sure you're putting back the, the correct short, shorter screw for the, for the motor. All right, so we got her all back together. Got our motor. The only thing I have to do is cinch this wire bundle down, but I ain't worried about it right now. So let's go ahead and jump back into beta flight. All right, so I'll go over here to motors tab. Yes, we have our props off. All right, so we'll plug our lipo in. Um, remember, if you're going to take a long time to do this, you want to get a fan on this. Okay. So we'll spin up. Motor one sounds good. I never really go above. I never go above half throttle. I don't go full throttle when I'm doing this because it's it without having the load of the prop on there, you can hurt your motors. Motor two sounding pretty good. Motor three sounding pretty good. Oh, that sounds so much better than this. Got a pretty nice, pretty nice motor on there. She's strong too. So I'm just gonna run him for just a second, probably about, about five seconds. And we're just gonna test the heat. Not too. That's it. Go ahead and disconnect. Go ahead and disconnect. Go ahead and disconnect the beta flight here. Go ahead and pull this off. All right, so we're ready to put the props on this bad boy after I get that bundle put back to where it belongs. Get the props on it and go fly it and see what happens. But that's how that's how you do a motor bearing replacement. So tiny little suckers, aren't they? It's amazing they can go. I mean, you're talking 4,500 RPM times per volt. And we're talking 16.8 volts. So on a 4,500 kV motor, that's 75, 6, I think 75,000 RPM. I mean, just, it just amazes me. I mean, how much technology went into that little bearing, right? So there you go. I hope this helped you out. And if it did, hey, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> if you hated it, give me a thumbs down. It all works. Enjoy the breeze.